Welcome back to School Vincent Massey School Community. I'm Jeanette Thibault, the principal at Vincent Massey Public School, and we want to connect with you through this video to welcome you back and talk a little bit about the hard work we've been doing to prepare for your first day at school. And I'm Scott Macklin, I'm the vice principal, and I'm also here today to explain to you some of the special things we have in place that will be a little bit different this year. We know that a big change this year is that parents cannot accompany their children to the backyard. I'm currently standing at where we have identified path A1 for our bus students to use and our kinder students. Some walkers might also choose to use this path to access the backyard. We know that there's a lot of uncertainty with the bus routes and how to get students safely to school. If you can, please, we encourage you to walk a block. This information is available in our Friday updates, as well as on the OSTA website. It's going to help the traffic, the kiss and ride, and the circulation, and it's also really healthy. For those parents who do decide to drive their children to school, you have two options for drop-off. The first is to park your car at the Emmanuel United Church, 100 meters down Smythe Road towards Chio. The second option you have is to enter our kiss and ride zone. The kiss and ride is going to be a little different this year. It will be one way with cars entering off of Smythe Road, driving down the parking lot to the back of the parking lot, where you'll be met by staff who are there to greet your children. At which point you'll turn left and leave the parking lot onto Edgecombe Road. Using the Kiss and Ride this year is going to require a lot more patience than in previous years. We're going to ask our parents to please drive slowly through the parking lot, watch out for children who are unloading from the cars and staff who are helping them. As you're leaving our parking lot onto Edgecombe Road, please be aware that there's going to be a lot of students walking and cycling off of Hastings to enter here at Pathway B. Patience and safety is our number one priority this year. Please extra careful leaving the parking lot. This year we are asking students to arrive at school between 8.30 and 8.45, at which point they will come to their lineup and start lining up right away to enter the building. We are going to be entering one meter apart. Everybody will be wearing their mask and classes are clearly identified so that everyone knows which door they're to use. Teachers of our younger students are going to be helping a lot with that. Before you enter the building, make sure you have your mask on if you're in grades 4 to 8. Grades 1 to 3 are encouraged to wear masks, but it's not required at this time. As you enter, you're going to see there are hand sanitizing stations at every door. Everyone who enters the door will take a pump and sanitize their hands. When students come outside for outdoor learning time and recess, each home room will have their own large patch of grass on the field. These patches will be clearly defined with spray paint on the grass and pylons on the first day of school so that students and teachers alike can easily identify where they're supposed to go. As expected, classrooms are going to look different this year. Here's an example of a kindergarten class. And this is what a primary classroom will look like. Remember, primary students are not required to wear masks, but we are encouraging them to do so if they feel comfortable. In junior and intermediate grades, we will be asking students to wear their mask. As you can see on the desks, there are no dividers in our junior intermediate classes. This is what an intermediate classroom looks like. Like our grade four to sixes, our sevens and eights are required to wear a mask for the entire school day. All the students in the school will be staying in their homeroom classrooms for the entire school day. If they have more than one teacher, the teachers will be coming to them. Sometimes staff will be wearing shields if they are working with students in close proximity and they don't have the dividers on their desk. During the lunchtime this year, 
we are asking all students to do a boomerang lunch, which means that you pack up everything that you've brought for lunch back into your bag, garbage, recycling, and it all goes back home. We hope this little video has been helpful for the first day of school and it is a way for us to connect with you. We're looking forward to seeing everyone next week. And remember, at Vincent Massey, we refuse to lose.